Hello people, this is our Cobra and this is Let's Play Skyrim Blind. I've been I think I remember I gave some advice to go to the uh Oh was it again? Some place Um <laughs> Was it the corpse light farm? Or was it all the way down by the graveyard? I don't know what. I'll investigate both places and see if I can find a place. To... Let's see. I think it was. Over here. Yes, yes. Oh wait, this is locked. Well, I guess this over here might also be. No, it's open. Was it down here by the graveyard then? I can't remember. Oh yes, yes. I'm pretty sure now that I was told to go down here. To the Hall of the Dead. Maybe the Hall of the Dead was just mentioned somewhere. You know, it would probably benefit me to review helpful hints in the comments before starting up and not just hoping my memory will hold for, you know, two or three days. Kust is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Need any help with that? War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. You're a priest of Arke? I am. I came into Arche's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Yes, yes, I'll do that. Blessing of Arche to you for your help. Thank you. By the way, can you teach me about uh, conjuration? Me some of what I know. But be careful. Don't worry, I only use it on dead people. Yeah, I... Yeah, okay. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. I will, I will. Alright, I'd, I'd just like to point out that the, <clears throat> the guy lives... Here, right? And his journal is lost here. I have to wonder how that happened. This doesn't seem like a noonday stroll. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about I don't... How about you just li close your eyes and I don't kill you? Think of it. That sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Uh, a sensible bandit. Until next time. Did he say a loss again? Two hundred. I think she gave me two hundred. Huh. Well, what do you know? Sometimes you can get away, away with more threatening than with, you know, peacefulness. I do prefer to be diplomatic. You just don't always have the option, and I'm definitely not paying those highway robbers. Would, would, would I survive a dive from here, I wonder? <laughs> let, 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 let's find out, let's find out. Geronimo! Well, that was refreshing. And that's disgusting. Hmm. And that's a dead guy. And dead bandit. Well, if the dead bandit has some money on him. What the hell is going on here? And how did he lose his journal in here? Alright. Oh, that looks nasty. Trolls, maybe? Yeah, I think we're talking about trolls. Definitely a troll. You say so. Huh. Excuse me. 
Apparently was, this was an underground groove of some sort. Before everyone got ripped apart. That's just unsanitary. I can hear them moving around in here. Fortunately, trolls are not that much of a problem anymore. They were once upon a time, but now I can handle them pretty easily. Still got to be careful. Our confidence kills. Oh! Okay. in here? Lots. Yes. Over there. Mm. Pow! How do you like that? Freaking trolls. Well, better start looting. Journal's probably over there. Rich. Yeah. So let's see what's in here. Probably some bonus treasure, maybe? Or a dead goat. That's also a possibility. Ooh, a treasure trove. Hmm. Huh. This is probably a bandit hideout of them. They just got attacked and ripped apart by the um, trolls. Where will you be when trolls attack? though. Is, is it? Yes, that's a coin purse. Not much money, but no, everything adds up in the end now, doesn't it? I even kill... I wonder if they actually killed a mammoth or just found a dead one. Well, they're certainly been eating each, uh, eat, uh, eating each other. How do you lose your jaw in a place such as this? I have to wonder. Oh, and there's some gold. Come to Papa. This journal. Elm bow of freezing, steel sword of fear, and golden luck Let's see if we can read it. Maybe it says something about it was here. 17, 17 second seed. It has been a long time since I've written an entry in this journal. I admit with some embarrassment that then that when I pulled it down from the shelf I nearly choked on the dust with flu. It was a little to tell, but did suffer another awful nightmare of the war. I suppose this is an affliction common to many who must see the horrors of war firsthand. Running about it has already helped me to feel better. Nineteen second seed received a letter from Anduas at White Run. He has invited me to visit and I intend to accept. It's been a long time since I was in the city. Huh. My own fear is that four more I have heard I have heard that they and their agents are abroad at Skyrim, rooting out worship of Talos. I must be sure to keep a low profile. 28 second seed, returned from my trip to White Run to find very few flowers have bloomed here. The rest of Skyrim is covered in blooms of fiery red and piercing blue, but only a scant few appeared in or near the town. I'm making my mission to change that. We could use some flowers to brighten this gloomy place. Perhaps I can get Tekla to help me. 
Nine Midia spent most of the day consulting Lot, who received news of his cousin Grimswater's death. They were quite close as youths, and Lot drank a talk of his childhood memories. It was touching, but bittersweet. Twenty-two Midia. A wandering peddler passed through Falkwich today. I purchased a few sticks of incense from him. He was a nice young Nord lad, following in his father's footsteps. I think his name was Valbjorn. A few days later, one of the town guards spied a pack of carrion birds circling near the road. He found young Valbjorn's corpse, vixen of a bandit attack. My heart is heavy and yet I should know better. Life and death, growth and change, returning of the seasons, these are all aspects of the mighty arcade. I should not be so affected by the death of one young man. And yet... Twelve suns hide. Travelers pass through town, speaking of the land in the grip of high summer. These are the warmest days of the year in Skyrim, but not in Falk Ridge. Falk Reef. Here all is mist and fog and rain. It is always cool and damp and the season have little meaning. Solaf asked me about this today. He said that in a place of the dead soldiers our great cemetery, Arke's dominion should be absolute. And yet Arke is also the lord of seasons, and this place seems untouched by them. I gave the best answer I could. I explained that Falk Reef is indeed a place of great power for Arke, but he prefers to keep it this way, solemn and grey. Hopefully that was at least partly true, but who can possibly know the mind of God? Yeah, the truth is, it's probably because of how it's located, with the mountains, weather patterns, stuff like that. Some places can be like that, misty and gloomy all year round, depending on the geography. Twenty suns high. Dreams of the war again, but this time something different. I was leading a small band of Altmeri battle mages on a mission deep into the heart of Imperial territory, where I had drawn near a target on a supply depot outside of Chedenhall when the sky suddenly darkened. A great shadow passed over us, and there was a roar so terrible it chilled my blood. Something was flying just overhead, so huge and so dark as to blot out the sun. The dream changed, then. I was here in Fog Reef, performing a service for someone who had just passed away, though I do not recall who. From the corner of my eye, I saw a stranger approaching. I turned to look, but the shadow came again and the roar, and then I woke. Now that I reflect on the dream, I cannot help but wonder, was it a dragon? Why would I dream of such a creature when I have never seen one? It seemed so real at the time, but now the memory is fading. What it means, I cannot say. Probably nothing. Hmm. And the guy probably first saw me when I was, uh, when he was attending to that ceremony. Peculiar. Very peculiar. Peculiar. Uh... And easy way out. So yeah, a couple of trolls clean up this place. So now it's just getting back. Yeah, oh, there you are. Responsible for the cemetery here in I take care of the shrine. By the way, I have your journal. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here, I promised you this. Um, I see you didn't promise me anything, but thanks. Can There's I teach me more? more I can teach you. Ah, okay. Understandable. Life is far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. I said not to. Ah, no, I just need to find one more to help. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Do you have anything? Falkreef was once full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. Those were better days. You said something about a burial. Falkreef is known for its graveyard traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion. Oh yeah, I Could think I already heard the this. Ashes to Runil, the priest of Arke. He'll know the right blessings to make for Barret's soul. Skyrim's his folk. I just finished. Wait, I've... Could you deliver the ashes to Runil? I'll be on. This is exactly what I've been looking for. You, I have ashes for you. Good to see Sky. Ah, Barret's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors go to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. And this means I help free people, right? Yes! Finally! Are you, my good sir, owe me a position of fame now? Thank you very much. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. 
Thanks. I grant you this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't yes, yes, I had this spiel like common rabble now. several times now. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. All right. I protect the yard, whoever that might be. Oh, wrong button. Uh, and also the wrong guy. Ooh. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Well, can I buy a house? Yes. What is it that you want? Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Who do I have to talk to to buy a house? Folkreath Cemetery reminds us that war is not new. That's well. Uh, maybe there ain't a house available in Fort Reef. What a strange thought.